Hey guys, so I think I found the issue. This is really dry and it locks. So that there, now, not turning at all, it's locked. I've tried running a, a hose pipe through it, thinking there is grit or sand from the, you know, the Saharan sands that blew in. Um, it's not really helped it, to be honest with you. Now, I'm not familiar with these, how they work, and I should know better. You know, I should be um, consorting Google or YouTube or something, but what I can see is a little grub screw there. So I'm going to attach the halyard, tie that off down here somewhere, so I've got free play with this. I'm going to try and get a right size Allen key to unscrew this. I'm, ho I'm hoping, it looks like there's some sort of thread in there, that this screws off. Um, and I, that'll give me access to lift this up, hopefully this race of bearings, and that lifts up the next race of bearings. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, and I'll get to, I'll see the conditions of the races, you know, get some wet and dry on them, and get some new bearings ordered, just to try and get a, to establish what is going on. Because it, there, look, it's locked. It's not going anywhere. So there's something odd going on in there. A square bearing or something. But that is the issue. <sighs> yeah. So I'm gonna get on with just tying off this halyard. And then when I get to unscrewing this, I'll tune back in and we'll see how she comes apart. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time. I'm a complete novice, learning as I go and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Hi girls, hi girls. Oh, nice. I'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's um, I've got my, my girls with me today still, Sam, and Laura's going to be my little camera lady while we investigate this uh, foresail issue. So, I had a real drama getting the grub screw out, so I've used a bit of, bit of map gas, got a bit of heat on there, a bit of penetrating oil, and I've managed to get it moving. So I thought I'd get Lauren to come and hold the camera for me while I take it apart, and we try and get these bearings out. I did bring a magnet, being a bit of a fool, because obviously because they're not rusty, they're going to be stainless. I've done a bit of googling last night, and they should be plastic. People sometimes have placed them as stainless, thinking they'll be a tougher, last longer, all that good stuff. But, yeah, I've, I've, I've reordered plastic ones. So my plan is to take this apart, uh, clean up the bearing races, put the plastic ones in, uh, and hopefully get a few years of problem-free sailing. The actual rotor stay itself is absolutely fine. No glitches, completely smooth, really nice. It's just uh, this lumpy old thing. So Lauren's gonna be my uh, little camera lady while we investigate how this beast comes apart. Say hi. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna hand the camera to Lauren. Just try and keep looking the right-ish sort of way, darling. Can you see what's from there? Right, you're coming a bit closer. What we're going to do, not really matters because I know how many bearings need to replace it. I found a spreadsheet and I'm not going to reuse them. I don't really know why I'm bothering, but I'm going to try and catch the bearings on this tape. Mainly so I can investigate the shape of them. Should. 
first one done it by hand, look how tight it is. And being plastic, there's no corrosion there, there's no reason to be an issue coming apart. Money on a deck because there's 10p there. If I was messing around with a sale yesterday, yeah, put it on there, thank you. Just so I can have a look and see how and why they failed. <laughs> Good access to clean, clean the races up, which don't seem in too bad a nick. But I'll still get some wet and dry and clean them up. And I'll get the next race out now. I'm not sure if I'll have a camera person to help me do it. But when I come to reassemble, I said about using margarine or some form of like light oil to line the races, put the bearings in, and then boil in hot water, syringe it out. They've got to be completely dry when they go back together. But to save it all falling apart when you're trying to do it, you can use like margarine or something you can wash out afterwards. Hi, right, how's it going? You alright? Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, yeah. Hi, right, Captain. Hi, hi. How's it going, you There's a lot of them. It's very dry in here. There's a lot of. Can you pass me the camera, darling? A bit close up. Thank you. Good little camera lady. So, looking in here, there's a lot of sort of almost like breakdown, grinding of dust, sand, grit. There's no real misshaping. It's just very gritty and. Yeah. It's just dirty. So a bit of wet and dry cleaning that up. It's a nice fresh uh, correct bearing used. And that'll be uh hot to trot I reckon. Nice easy fix. It's a shame but it's such a nightmare to get a four sale in to realise it is nice easy fix. Uh, something else I found on the four sale when I was putting them up when I first bought the boat. There's a few of the smaller batons were missing from the foresail. So before I re-hoist it, I'll uh, see if I can source some small batons so I can have it fully battened out. And I'm going to replace the halyard because that's a little bit knackered, a little bit. So I'm going to go and buy, buy a nice new halyard and I'll use that as uh, mooring, line, mooring lines. And I may well treat myself and get some new sheets. So I'm going to go all out on this. I've already got the nice new six mil rope to go on the furler. Have a look, you know, this one's missing a wheel. It's got different ones scattered around. So I'll, I'll get them all the same, get it all looking nice, get it all running smoothly. So when I want to slow down, I can. I'm not up here getting whipped in the face for sale, trying to tie it up. But yeah, so it's going to be an expensive couple of weeks, but I'll order the bits and pieces, get it all back together ready for our proper first proper cruise in a long 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 time going around to Isle of Wight and we'll see how that goes but I'll uh, I'm tidy up now 
sitting this camera part. I haven't got any wet and dry on me, but I'm going to Halfords later or something, get some wet and dry. Clean this all up, ready for some fresh bearings. But I'll show you when she's all clean. Um, you don't even see me sanding out with about 800 or something. But, and I'll get it, so it's a nice polished finish, good to go. While Lauren's doing some disco dancing on the deck. <laughs> oh, sweet trivet, guys. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, the joys of the civilian life have kicked in already. I don't work weekends, but this Saturday I, I am working. I've got to install a boiler. So uh, it's a private job to complete my portfolio. I need to get five boilers put in. So I'm working Saturday and Sunday. I'm taking Sam and the kids to London. So the weekend's written off, really. Uh, so after work this week, I need to get on with sorting out the for sale. So I'm not sure how much I explained when I was taking it down, but when I put the for sale up last year, year and a half ago, whatever it was, there was a few batons missing. Um, now the for sale is down. I've just bought some more eight mil fiberglass rods. I didn't get it from CFS. They didn't seem to list any of my normal fiberglass suppliers, and I got them from East Coast Fiberglass. So you go online and you you know look at battens, sailing battens, it says sailing in it, you know, super expensive. So I went East Coast fiberglass, eight mil rods, which are in there at the minute, fiberglass rods, cost me like a few quid each. Uh, I've got some spreaders on eBay or Amazon, so sort of glue on the end. Um, yeah, so I'll be fully battened out. And I think I mentioned it before that the bearings were metal that are in there, especially plastic. So I've got plastic bearings coming. And I've just gone to get some wet and dry from Sam's house. So I'm going to get a little bowl of water in a minute. I'm going to get out there and just flat down. I don't feel rough, but just as a matter of course, just polish up the bearing runs. Give it all a good flush out. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Hopefully tomorrow the actual bearings will turn up. And if it's not tipping it down, I'll get out there. All I'm going to do is spread some margarine in there to hold the bearings in place, put it all together and then boiling hot water in a syringe sort of melt the margarine out so it's dry. That's the plan, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then I've got a new halyard coming one day this week because uh, the old halyard is a little bit ropey. Uh, ropey. Um, and I'll use my old halyard as sheets, hopefully. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do any filming outside because it's really windy and you won't be able to hear me. Uh, and all I'm going to be doing is sanding down some bearing runs. So um, I don't really need sanding, I'm doing it just a matter of course. So I'm going to do that, give it a good wash out, make sure it's all nice and clean up there, ready to receive some, uh, some nice new shiny bearings and hopefully get a nice smooth rolling action. So next time I'm going too fast with the kids on board, I can actually slow the boat down, which would be nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get on with that and I shall speak to you tomorrow, or in your case it will be in a second. Alright, speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, half past six at night, ridiculous time to finish work. But um, I left at seven this morning, if it being a civvy it would be this hard. Um, I come back and I've got tons and tons of stuff so I'm hoping I've got everything I need to fix my for sale. So I'm going to do a little, if I do it in a squeaky voice, I'll probably get like a million subscribers. But I'm pretty sure this, I'm very prepared with my opening techniques, is going to be shiny new halyard. And then because I'm super lazy, it's got a pre-spliced eye on it. Beautiful. Right in the marine. That'll uh, see you good. I'm hoping there's going to be some bearings in here. So it's windy and hall blitz, it is out there. We're going to rebuild that um, furler. Oh, there's screws for my um, auto helm sensor. Good, I'll go and do that in a minute. Well, after I've be, be done for sale. I haven't got long, I've got dinner in about an hour. So I'm just going to get on with what I can. What is this? Aha! Bearings. 
Delwyn ball bearings, quarter inch and three sixteenths. So bottom right, bottom um, bottom rail, top rail. Really, because they're plastic, it's going to be a nightmare in this wind. But I'm hoping a bit of margarine, it'll um, it'll stick them down. It's terrible when you order this much stuff, you don't know what's coming. Aha! Spreaders for the uh, the eight mil fiberglass battens. So I'm going to make them myself. Some spreaders to go on the end. The old job, and then again, not really sure what I've ordered. Ah, not sure it's going to be big enough, but a boom slider for the uh, the kicker. It's the old one that's stuck in there, welded good and solid. This one's going to replace it, so I'm going to put a kicker back on. But I'm not convinced it's going to be man enough, but can but try. And that's it, that's my little haul. You can hear, so I've got halyards battering out there. But um, you can see, how, you hear how windy it is out there. So I'm not going to film me putting these bearings in, simply because it's blooming windy. I'm going to have, I'm going to have my hat on. I'm going to be smearing it with Marge and I'll have a go at putting these bearings in. I may well find the wind's too strong and they just blow off and just they're just everywhere. Uh, in which case I'll leave it for a nicer, less windy day. I want to get it done. I really, really want to get it done now. So I've downloaded a spreadsheet, um, not a spreadsheet, a guide letter thing that tells me how many ball bearings are in each run. Bear with me. Where is it? Where is it? There you go. So, I don't know if you can see that or not on the GoPro. So, 316 are 30, and then the bottom one, the quarter inch balls, is 23 per bearing race. So I'm going to count out 23, go and get them in, come back and then get 30 of the uh, 316s, get it all done, put back together. If I, if I manage to do it in the wind today, I'll show you it after I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't show you me doing it. It's just, it'd be an absolute nightmare out there. There'd be GoPros in the water, me in the water, ball bearings in the water, it'd be even worse. So I'm going to get on with it and I'll... Uh, I'll show you when it's done and then I'm going to get, if if I get it done, I've got my syringe over there. Um, I'm going to get some boiling hot water in a jug and then just syringe boiling hot water into it and melt the margarine away to make, make it dry. I'll try and film that. But yeah, so I'm going to get on with that now and I'll try and get your snippets as I'm going along and I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me over the wind. It's very hard to portray how something feels on a GoPro. All I can say is before, it was very grinchy and it just locked. As if it physically wouldn't go like it did to me when we was out sailing. Now, no glitches, nice and smooth. Yes. <laughs> and what also I found, the metal bearings I took out were the same size. So there's two different size vases here, the quarter size and the 3 sixteenths. What was in there is two exactly the same size metal bearings that are corroded and yeah. So cleaned the vases up, nice bit of wet and dry, and she is hot to chop. Um, like I said what I was gonna do, um, all I've done, I laid the, the, the vases with margarine. So this was thick with marge. And I used a syringe with some hot water and just syringed the marge out and it come out like there was, yeah, you know, it, it just fell out, all dissolved. There's had plenty of syringes in there, all the marge is removed, so it's got no lubrication as such. It's nice and dry, ready for the summer of sailing. I've been spinning, I've been spinning it and messing around with it for ages and I can't make it anything rough 
or any nicks or any catches you know there's nothing there that is ready to hoist so obviously as you can tell the weather's not great for messing around with sails hopefully i'll get an evening this week or some point next week when i get the the batons back in the foresail the few bands that are missing i'll make them stick the spreaders on that i've just shown you get a foresail hoisted and furling nicely with this new halyard and the old halyard i'll probably make into sheets or i'll get some new sheets on there or whatever it takes that's a two minute job and that's the foresail done main sail i'm happy with so if everything else if nothing else comes off between now and us going to the Isle of Wight for a little weekend away um, you know we've got sails we've got an engine I still want to mess around with the anchor I've got to make sure the anchor's all fine if we, if we need to drop it um, I need to mess around with the radio make sure that's all legit and get the sea talk system live so the auto helm can work if I need it no, I could go on <laughs> there's tons and tons and tons of stuff I need to get done this is not going to happen before then so, sails, motor, anchor, and a radio. Everything else is it's a later problem. But, <laughs> cheers guys, I'll speak to you in a bit. Sorry guys, one last thing. Simply bearings. Uh, there you go. Three sixteenths and one quarter. Delivered, total, £28.18. This is 2022. So if you watch this in 10 years time, it may not be that price, but if, you want, <laughs> if you're thinking about doing this job in and around now, if your furlough's getting a little bit tight, there you go. 30 quid, a bit of margarine, and uh, good as new.